Welcome to another Webflow tutorial. As always, my name is Jasper, and what we're going to be covering today is how to integrate Monday.com and Webflow. So we're going to be sending the form data from Webflow into Monday.com. So as you can see here, we've got a simple setup. Um, it's just a simple form at the moment, um, but I will start from scratch just to show you how it's done. Um, we, now we have our make.com. Now make.com is there to actually transfer the data in between the two. So it's like an automation tool and it has uh, lots of different platforms it integrates with. But um, as you can see, I've connected Webflow with Monday. Now, if you are interested in trying out monday.com, so not monday.com, well, yes, monday.com. So monday.com and make.com, you can find the links in the description and you can both get uh, free forever accounts so it doesn't cost you anything. But let's move back on. And now we've got monday.com here. So as you can see, I've got some test leads in here just while I was testing out the uh, system. So this is just a simple board with contact form. But uh, let's dive in. So I'm gonna just uh, delete both of these so we can start from scratch. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's say you've created your form. Um, it's just an ordinary form that you've selected from the elements section. Let's remove that. So now it's just starting from scratch. You'll change it to post. And then what we're gonna to wanna to do is one, you're gonna to wanna to have a board ready on uh, monday.com. And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna go Webflow. And then the one you're gonna to wanna to click is watch for events. And then we're gonna to have to create a hook. So we're gonna go my site hook. We're gonna go edit. And then we're gonna select one here. Then you wanna select your site. And then you're gonna go trigger type and you're gonna go form submission. Hit save. Awesome. And now all you're gonna to wanna to go show address and copy the address here. Then you're gonna come over here and you're gonna put that in the action. That's it. So that's all you need to do there. Then you're gonna come back and you're gonna go okay. And then we're gonna go add another module. And now we're gonna select Monday. Now if you're doing this for the first time for Webflow and Monday, it will ask you to connect your details. So for Webflow it's real easy, or just have a redirect where you give it permissions of what it can and can't view. For Monday, it's gonna ask you for a API key. So just after this, I'll show you how to get that API key. Now what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to want to create a new item, because that's what sits in here, is an item. So once we do that, we're going to select the item name, so we're gonna make it name. And then we're also going to select the board. So we're gonna do contact form. We're gonna select the ID, we'll put it as leads. The group ID is this here. And then for item, we're going to select email. Cause as you would notice, we've already got the name, which is gonna go in here. And then we need the email. So we put the email in here and the value is going to be, doesn't seem emails come through. So what we're going to do is to make it refresh and know that it has that data, we're going to send a uh, example just through it. So this happens sometimes when it doesn't know that there are, let's say these fields available. So we'll go test, go test again, go submit. No scenarios listening, that's not ideal. Let's go run. Okay, I see what's going on. Now let's just double check. So it hasn't come through, so we're gonna delete this. We're gonna try that again. So we're gonna go, actually we're going to open this back up, go Monday, create an item. Now we're just gonna create an item without the email. Now the reason I'm doing this is because it doesn't know that the email ID is there. So let's just double check it's still not there. Let's go email. Nope, okay. So let's delete it. Now we're gonna hit okay. So technically this is gonna work. So we're gonna go run. Let's go back here, submit. Great. And then you'll see that came through. Awesome, so now when we go in here, we should be able to add the email. So you go add item, select email, and there you have it. See how it has the email data there? So now it knows that there's basically that email field. So 
we're, for the value, we're gonna put it as email and for the text. So we just both as the email address. Create labels if missing. I'm gonna put yes, you don't have to. That just means that if the data isn't um, all there, it will still create uh, the system. And then we're gonna go okay. And that's all you need to do there. So this magically, those two things connect up monday.com and it'll work just fine. So let's take it for a spin. So let's say if we wanna go John Doe, and then we're gonna go John Test. I'm gonna go Submit. Oops, I keep forgetting. You gotta remember that if you don't have this running properly, you gotta click Run Once every time. It can be annoying if you forget. There we go, now it accepted. Awesome, and you can see it all ran through. And there you go, come straight through to monday.com, John Doe. And there's his email address. Now, like I said before, I'll show you how to get the monday.com API. So all you gotta do is click on your profile, go to developers, go to developer, my access token, and then it'll be right here. And that's the API that you need to connect it up. But thanks for watching. This is another quick tutorial. Uh, sorry for the little uh, bit of interruptions in there trying to get things to work, but at least it's a real example. Uh, <laughs> but if you enjoy the videos, feel free to subscribe and look forward to seeing you in the next one.